What's up now? Let me let me get y'all uh, up to date. My truck, my truck. I'm having truck problems, major. Uh, the light is something small. My lights. Right now, I'm getting a radiator flush on this truck. Right now, you know, uh, do, just doing routine maintenance. But I swear, man, this truck got gremlins. It's it's got gremlins. But uh. <laughs> My, the mechanics they gonna get it together all right let, let's get into this video let's check let's do it Speak. i'm at the sap brothers truck stop in denver colorado eagle truck wash I'm getting ready to get my truck wash uh i need a truck wash really bad so I came here to the Eagle Truck Stop. I went over to the Blue Beacon, but they had so many trucks there, they like wrapped around the corner. So I came over here. So I think I they do they do a pretty decent job. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Every every uh place got their good and bad stuff, but uh but anyway. Trying to walk over here and see what's up. Let me see. When I got here, they had like ten trucks ahead of me, so they got they doing a truck right now. All right, so I'm gonna walk on over here to my truck. Once I get the truck wash, and then uh. It probably won't be today, but I think tomorrow my truck is going to the shop because I got a major electrical problem, which is causing me to have to run only at certain times in the daytime. Now, like at midnight, like when it get ready to get dark, I'll run, but I run to where I can park the truck because of my running lights on my truck i don't know what it is but uh, i had somebody else tell me about the same problem they had a peterbilt same year same model and they said the driver told me that he had the same problem with the truck the running lights they would they went out but he had uh he told me that he had to get the whole uh thing replaced on the back the uh, wires the wiring and uh, we went to actually I haven't been in Denver since almost like the beginning of January somewhere around there I think I was here around beginning of January no matter of fact yeah it was and I left and I went home and I stayed home for like almost 30 days because I had been on the road for six months with only a 15 hour break in between so i went home actually through the six month time i went home for about 15 hours and then i left back out so i, I didn't really consider that you know a break you know that's not a break so uh <laughs> so i'm up here you know I came here to the truck stop to get my truck washed. I haven't been washed none this year. So get it washed, get it cleaned up. So when I take the truck, goes into the shop tomorrow, these guys can figure out where the problem is at. We went, like I say, we went to, I took the truck to like three different mechanics, three different mechanics. Nobody could figure it out. But my thing is when I'm riding down the freeway, my lights will blink out, my running lights. I have headlights, but the lights will blink out. And that is a mystery that I wanna know. I wanna know what the problem is, you know? That's something I wanna know. So only thing we can find do is uh, tomorrow, put it in the shop and let uh, the mechanics at UZ Auto Transport figure it out and figure out what the problem is because that affect 
that affect me making money. You know, because I'm one of the drive. I'm one of the type of drivers that uh, I run at night. I run whenever my clock allowed me to run. So if my clock is right and I'm able to run. I put this baby in the wind and I go. That's what I do. Now you got some drivers. They only drive during the daytime and they don't like driving at night. You know, to each his own. I understand it. You know, I understand. But some people. They just, like me, you know, they run whenever they can. You know, I got a load of cars on here and I'm trying to go, I go. But it's, it kind of like throw me off when I got to pull over at night because of my lights is out. I have headlights. Let me tell you, my headlights work. It's my running lights. So, tomorrow we'll find out what the problem is. Hold it. Wait a minute. Well, tomorrow we find out what the problem is. So that's what I'ma have to do. All right. So this is me, 18 wheels. Uh, once I get in the shop tomorrow, we'll figure out. But I'ma let me let you know what happened. <laughs> what the mechanics had already did. They took the uh, pigtail. It's a pigtail up under the truck from this. Part of the truck all the way to up here it's one in and up under so they took that pigtail out one of the mechanics said there was that pigtail was the problem i don't know so we plugged that pigtail back up uh i ran the truck maybe for about shit i think i maybe ran maybe about three four hours into my journey and my lights blinked back out but we didn't replace that pigtail. Now this pigtail right here, this pigtail, I replaced the head. I changed the head. Uh, what else we looked at? We found a light right here that had a short in it. We fixed that. Uh, and that was it. So couldn't figure out nothing else what was going on. So tomorrow, I'm gonna have to let the mechanics figure this out, man. Cause I gotta have my lights for night running, for running at night, and running at night is my is my thing, man. I I run at night. That's what I do. So, all right, just say ten wheels. Let's see what it's up. And the only thing I could do is wait till tomorrow. All right, peace. I finally came out of the truck wash, Eagle truck wash. So this is the end result of a clean truck, right here. Y'all see it. What's up, UZ Auto Trans? So I, j I just got a regular truck wash. And uh, that's what it looked like. They did a good job this time. They did a good job. I think it's pretty uh, Look like they missed the spot. But compared to how my truck looked, I think everything is good. All right. I'm finna get in this truck and go park and get ready for tomorrow so the mechanics can fix my lights, camera, action. Y'all hear me? Fix my lights. That way I can load this truck up and, and make some money. Because it's dinky. It don't have anything on it. So when the truck don't have anything on it, it's not making any money. So the only way it can make money unless we load it up with cars. And it's going in from one end to the other. Point A to point B. Y'all know how it is. All right. Let me get in this truck. Go post up. And uh, wait for tomorrow. All right. Peace.